South Africa hammered Scotland 55-6 as Vern Cotter suffered his first defeat since taking over as head coach. South Africa ran in two tries in the first ten minutes. Marcel Kurtzi got the first and has a great move for the second. This man cannot stop scoring for South Africa. Six minutes later, the Springboks picked up their third try. Peterson, boot the ball, and ball, ball. It's a brilliant score. South Africa scored four more tries in the second half. JP Peterson powering his way over the line. And the Springboks scored again following an interception. Luazi and Volvo will go all the way. And Scotland were punished again after another mistake. Lou Diego went on to score his first international try. And it was the final match of Scotland's tour. Yeah, obviously disappointed to to lose, and I think half the points we gave to the opposition, so that, man, that's disappointing. Uh, what not to do in rugby in the first 20 minutes, uh, several penalties, and I thought, you know, I thought some of those decisions were hard, but I'll have a look at it. And obviously if you start a game like that, um, you can see tries, it gets hard to come back from, so uh, we, we, um, this whole tour was about having a look at, uh, having a look at players, having a look at um, where we want to shift to next, the World Cup's a, a year away, so I would, you know, without repeating what coach has said, so that there's a lot, a lot of stuff in there that we'll take from and can build, build through uh, to our next, next games in November. You say you want to shift somewhere with this Scotland team. Where is that and, and what strides have you made on this tour to, to, towards that shift? Yeah, well, I saw when we had the ball, when we made better, uh, made good choices and kept the ball and, and repeated phases. I mean, there's, there's obviously, we could see that there was, um, physically, we were dominated. There's no two ways about that. So is that, um, you know, is that something, I think it's end of the season, guys were tired. Um, and, um, you know, we, we didn't keep our shape at times, but when we did, it, it wasn't too bad. I think a lot of it's about belief. These guys have got to start believing a bit more and, and, and keep their hands on the ball. The ball we gave away an opposition like South Africa going to score from, so that's something we, we learnt from today, and we just developed the good things. Like I said to the guys, repeat the good things we did, because some things were good. There was character out there. We didn't give up. The guys never gave up. So if we can keep working like that and keep, like I say, repeating the good things and take away the stuff that wasn't good, you know, it's just been a positive day, even though the score doesn't look like it.